I ask you to break down the elements of that sea change, as you rightly put it. Let's, let's start with military spending. Uh, Chancellor Schultz has said he's going to modernize Germany's military, spend uh, the numbers I read, $113 billion uh, to, to do that, uh, increase Germany's military readiness, uh, increase Germany's um, uh, contributions to, to NATO, something that presidents, especially Donald Trump, uh, ha had been requesting. Uh, for for years, I want to ask you a, a, a direct question. Um, as as you and your government look look back, do you think it's possible that if Germany had stepped up and uh, increased its defense posture earlier, the nightmare that Putin has leashed on Ukraine might have been prevented? Well, um, you will remember that since. Um, autumn last year, uh, when uh, we closely observed the military build-up, um, the NATO states uh, were aligned in saying uh, that this would uh, um, place a huge price tag uh, uh, on the Russian economy uh, and uh, on the Russian uh, regime. We were very clear about it. Uh, um, and even though Putin, in, putting the uh, Russian president exactly knew uh, uh, that any such step would likely uh, lead to a major implosion of the Russian economy. This didn't deter him. Um, he was simply led by what he wanted to achieve, and that is uh, the end to uh, Ukrainian uh, independence, uh, uh, territorial change, uh, uh, structurally uh, subservient uh, Ukraine. Uh, I don't believe uh, that defense uh, post earlier decisions on defense postures uh, would have prevented it. Um, as I see it, uh, Putin saw that his time had come. He had probably assumed uh, that uh, the West would be distracted, uh, that the United States would be distracted, that domestic conversations here uh, uh, would make uh, sure of that, uh, that the West would be disunited, uh, that um, European states would shy away from taking tough decisions uh, that would hurt them economically as well. Well, all of this seems to be a, a huge uh, miscal uh, miscalculation. So my answer to you is we have taken the decision uh, late. Uh, previous Russian presidents, and many of them, um, had called upon Germany before. Uh, to invest more into its defense. But uh, mind you, what is um, what is often overlooked here is that the German defense budget since 2014 uh, until today has already grown by 60% and our budget uh, is already the largest uh, on the uh, European continent. But we're going to go far beyond that and we're going to make sure and it will be enshrined in the German constitution that we will uh, um, uh, that uh, our contribution uh, um, to the defense budget uh, will be more than 2% every year 